Hi there guys. Just in the garden today, I'm going to do a bit of um, bear shaft tuning and uh, some paper tuning. We'll see how it goes. Um, we'll do the paper tuning first, see what kind of results I'm getting. Um, I've had to have a few little warm up uh, arrows just to uh, get my muscles warmed up. So we'll have a go and see what happens. I'll zoom you in. That might be my release on that one, I think. Okay. Let's put this bow down. Some of them might be a little bit down to the um, release, obviously. Um, but nothing too violent. I mean, that's not too, not too bad. Quick first attempt. Yeah. I'm going to shoot a couple of more. And uh, let's see what happens. Just bear with me. Okay, so what I've done now, I've just turned the, uh, the paper over, so you've got the holes on the bottom there. Uh, so I've got a fresh um, half of the paper. So I want to give her another go.
the last one. Right, let's have a little close up on those. And I'm happy with those. I think they've come out all right. So I'm happy with the way these are uh, actually leaving the uh, the shelf. Um, there's no real violent uh, sort of tears there. They're just the fletchings there, just making its own hole. But no, I'm happy with those. That's uh, that's more than fine. There's no erratic tears. So what I want to do now is change the paper and uh, or actually I could use that middle section and put some bare shafts through it. So just give me a, a second and I'll uh, set that up. Bear with. Okay, I'm back and um, I just want to show you a quick uh, shot of the bow. This is my Black Douglas from uh, Border Archery. Love this bow. And um, this is a 42 pound bow. So uh, nothing really too strenuous, but uh, it means I can sort of shoot this all day with uh, quite a little fatigue. But anyway, so you can see them sort of shooting off the, uh, the shelf there, just got a fur rest there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and shoot some of these bare shafts. These are um, 480 spine, uh, 6.8 GPI, grains per inch. So let's give it a go, see what we get. Now I am expecting these to go knock high, ever so slightly knock high. Uh, because that's, that's how I've tuned it so that I get to clearance from the um, fletchings. So let's give it a go. Now that was a <laughs> the first one through the paper. And that was a really bad tear. All down to my release. And that was bad as well. I've got to try and give you a close up of those. You want to see this vertical tear. Fantastic, that is. Right, now we're going to get those arrows. We'll do that again. Okay, I'm going to give that another, another crack. Still got some vertical tears in there. <laughs> Don't they look great? <laughs> right, so just what I'm gonna do now is um, just have a few, couple more goes. Uh, see if I can get any better tears on that. But um, just bear with me a minute. Okay. 
so we're still the same still getting some just squiggly vertical lines so I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, knocking point just to make sure and I'm going to take some close up um, shots in a minute just to sort of see what's coming out of the bow closer at closer range so just bear with me a minute okay so I'm just back at the uh, in front of the paper tuner I'm just going to have a, a quick go up close and see what happens Show that quick first shot. You see there, it's just there. Well, that's not too bad at all, really. Oops, I'll try and put one above that. Certainly a different tear when, uh, when you're looking at these up close. Let's have another couple of goes. Just bear with me. In fact, what I'll um, also show you as well um, is the arrow from behind there. Let's move this out of the way. See me back. It's very hard for you to sort of see, um, but they are <laughs> pretty straight. Let's move the paper tuner out of the way. You see? Yeah, that's pretty straight. So that's the kind of difference it does make when they're actually flying through the air with the quivering and, and everything. But uh, I'm still going to sort of see if I can get those things like the vertical lines. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean they're incredible, aren't they? But certainly. In close-up range, yeah, that's not uh, that's not too bad. No violent, uh, no violent tears. Not really. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the paper and uh, do some fresh, and um, we'll see uh, if we can just sort of get them to fly just a little bit better on the bare shaft. So just bear with me. Okay, so I've got a fresh new paper up there and uh, another couple more shots. And see if we can uh, just tame that down a little bit. If it's, you know, it might be me, obviously, but I uh, just want to sort of check out if um, we can actually just get that a little bit sort of smaller. I'll show you close up these in a second. In fact, I'll, uh, I'll zoom into that so you can kind of see what's.
No, I actually threw that one out myself. Right, let me just pause that there, and uh, I will get those arrows. Okay. Terrible. <laughs> might be me, might be camera shy. No, they're still pretty violent. So a few more. It's really strange what uh, you can actually sort of see on paper because when you see these without the paper, they, they really look like they're going straight. But they all seem pretty consistent in, in their shape. So, just bear with me a minute. Okay, I'm going to have just a couple more shots and then I'm going to take a couple of shots from about half the distance. At the moment we're shooting from about uh, 10 yards. Alright, still the same. Squiggly worms. Okay, well, I'm just going to get those two arrows, but what I will show you again is when we go up to the target, and I'll do to take you out there, is that um, you'll see that when you actually do look at the arrow. I'll just move the, uh, the paper tuner out of the way. Is it those arrows are straight? They're not kicked out, they're just straight. So, I mean, it could be porpoising of why it's uh, making such a dramatic, um, you know, effect on the paper. But every line, every one of them seems to be virtually identical. So, so back in a minute. Okay. So I've got to about half the distance now, and uh, we'll just have a quick uh, look of what they uh, they might look like now. A bit squiggly. You can see that they're actually sort of getting 
getting a little bit sort of smaller as you the nearer that you get you're not getting that kind of whip up and down but um i'm just gonna get those two out and uh shoot some into the actual bus. I can say they're about half. And just again, I'll just move the um, uh, paper tuner and just see if they're still straight. And just move the camera over to the middle so you can just see where I was shooting from. As you can see, you know, spine-wise, I mean, they're, they're straight. You know, I can't really ask for better than that, to be honest. You know, they are straight. So if anybody got any questions, um, you know, if I'm missing something here, um, you know, if people are able to shoot these bare shaft through paper uh, and get those tears a lot smaller, then please let me know, because um, I would always like to, uh, you know, get someone else's input. But we're gonna have a quick. Uh, shoot now onto the targets. I've got some uh, like little squares, some of them about an inch, um, just over an inch, an inch and a half, something like that. So we're going to shoot some of them for a bit of fun. So bear with me. Okay, so I'm back up at uh, 10 yards, well that's about 11 yards actually, and um, I'm just going to have a Go on some of them squares. And for that, I'll be um, going back to the uh, the camo arrows, um, fletched ones. These are with the uh, true flight uh, feathers. Same spine. These are ever so slightly. Um, focusing on the target so these are the um, blood lines okay focus Top middle. So, top 
my top right or on the target the uh, Hmm. Okay, center square. Next one down from that in the middle. right for the bottom on the right bottom right dead on I find these are a great um, great practice um, There, uh, I mean, obviously the, your aim small, miss small, but um, it's really good practice to try and uh, send your arrows onto those like little tiny squares. And uh, let's have another go. Bear with me. Okay, let's have another go. Okay, straight for the one in the middle. Bottom left. Top left. Oh, bad shot. Let's try that again. That's better. Top right. Better than that. Let's try that again. Whoa. Not that time. Anyway, guys, hopefully uh, it's not been too boring for you. And uh, if you've got any questions, please let me know. Uh, I'd like to uh, get someone else's input. Um, some paper tuning so let me know cheers guys